Well, do we just want to have Tall Trap? I mean... If it's actually this case... And... Okay. Yeah, if we're running into issues with Tall Trap, let's make it a little bit wider. It'll look a little off. Actually, looking at it now, Claptrap really is that thin. Never mind, yeah, we are on the right track. Like, he is not actually that wide at the top. Okay, we'll just go with the original plan then. Why not? So it's gonna little look it's gonna look a little wonky. But I guess it'll be okay. Oh, you know what I can do? Let's uh, let's see. Do we have a one by three ramp that I can pull? Yeah, I do. Do it here. Cause part of the one of the other problems I was running into is I just didn't like like how this all connected. I guess we want a one by two. I didn't like how this was connecting. So it's not. It's kind of just like a. It's not better by much, but it is better. Alternatively, what if we do? What if we do do the one by four on the inside? Yeah, this actually might look really nice. There we go. So we do that. That yeah, that that looks way better. All right, let's get rid of these ramps here because they're wrong. Definitively so. I'll kind of extend this side down. Probably gonna need to do that for at least a little bit of this. Put that there. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Okay. Put that there. So far, so good. Okay, then we want one by eights, starting here. Well, it's making measuring easier. I love it how I haven't even, like, made anything functional. I've already spent, uh, an hour on this thing. It looks a hell of a lot nicer than it used to, though. I'm gonna give it that. I'm gonna give that, give it that so hard. Okay. <sighs> I think I'm gonna have to put this on a lift. Whee! Bonk! Satisfying. Okay. I need this to come out a little bit further. That high? That high? Okay. Now I'm gonna have to... I'd say I'm gonna have to have John Bain teach me how to actually scrap mechanic at some point, but I think... I don't know. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I ever want to learn it to that extent. The dude is kind of a wizard at this game. And in terms of, like, making cool shit that works. And I'm... <sighs> I mean, I could... I could... I don't think I want to. Okay. So we're all good, we have that working. Okay, cool. So I think I'm gonna try and get it to work on the other side too. I think this is working as intended. That definitely is. Okay, cool. So let's get our 1x8s in. I might actually delete the tire again, just so I have some room. I just wanted a... I just wanted a... You know, it's it's nice to have like a specific plan here. There we go. A specific plan and like a specific design to pull from. Okay. Yeah, sadly, for those of you watching this that want to download it, uh, you are going to need to get your hands on the mods. You might be able to, uh, some degree, hack job it without, but... Not that much, sadly. Okay, let's get rid of this tire. Let's get a little bit more room. For a second, I thought it was going to be the Cave Johnson remix, and then I realized I'm I'm just listening to um to purely uh purely Mega Man remixes right now. 
It's sad, but at the same time, the Mega Man remix is really good. Okay, so it's, I mean, it's a little bit rough around the edges. We're definitely missing, like, a lot of the detail elements that make Claptrap Claptrap, but it's better than what we had when we started. Let's do this. Still need to figure out how to get the, um, the rim to look right here. Maybe I need to bump it up maybe a couple more degrees so it looks like it's actually something. Okay, let's try five degrees. And you know what? For the time being, let's just build a scaffolding. Of sorts. And I can just build myself up to it or climb via seats. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, there we go. So it's, it's sticking out. More or less like it should be. It just feels like I'm somehow missing something. Oh. Hmm. There's... I'm, I'm looking at a more re... Oh. I'm looking at a more recent Claptrap, not the old style one. And he's actually got like things coming off the side there, but that's not quite what we want. Maybe it is. Let's put him there. Like they're a little wider than this. Oh, you know what? We got the one by four. Fours. Not perfect. Maybe maybe that'll do. Let's put them on and paint them so they look right. We'll just do... It looks like it's a lighter gray. So something like this might be fine. The problem is we need this to be in just a little bit. Like, we only want them to be half of what they are. I I guess we could... No, we can't. Um, here, let me see if I can find a better picture of, of it. Sadly, this... Oh, wait. This is a huge image. Okay. Uh, if we can copy image somewhere and let you guys see. Like, there's a lot of bits and bobs. Oh, it actually doesn't relief out at all. It, and apparently the part I'm working with reliefs in? What the hell? Whatever, I'll just have it bop out like I have been. Okay, so let's let's get rid of this. No, we really honestly can't. I don't really have much of an option. There we go. Honestly, I think this will just have to do. We can't get our white stripe, which is sad, unless... We could get our white stripe if I mess up the shape a little bit. Honestly, having a hard time working with this thing because of the weird size constraints. You know, I, I've been kind of pussyfooting around this. Let's try four blocks. It'll make it, it'll make the top a little wider, but that'll probably give me a little bit more flexibility. Uh, the only problem is it might look, it might end up looking a little bit top heavy. We can compare sides and see which one looks better or worse. And I'm probably going to have everybody yelling at me for like half of these things, they're gonna be like, no, it looked better this way, no, it looked better this way, and it's like, fucking, three, four. Three, four. I'm just trying, I'm trying my best here, man. I don't make aesthetic builds very often. 
Okay, that is a very triangular claptrap. That's not, it's not gonna work. Boop. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's, that's a no-go. Well, that's okay, at least I didn't delete that entire side. That would have been obnoxious. Yeah, we we need more space. We need we need one by six. Uh, pretty bad. Well, if it ever if it ever shows up in the listing, maybe I'll come back and revisit. For now, let's just let's just get this sucker done. I'm I'm stuck purely in cosmetics right now. Which I mean, to be fair, you can't make a claptrap without actually having it look like a claptrap. But still. Yeah. So what I might do is have these almost on a piston uh, to pull them back in properly. Me uh, yeah, yeah, uh, mm. Let's let's try something else. I would, this uh, for those of you wondering, this is actually kind of similar to how uh, what it what it uh, feels like to watch somebody paint. Or I guess this is what it, uh, this is kind of like my painting process-ish. Okay, so we want to go down here. Yeah, this will probably be better. That way the, uh, the thing flips in. I feel like they actually have changed his design be between the, those two. Uh, pictures that I've been working from from reference. But yeah, I often will like go back and redo things over and over and over again uh, until it looks right. And it's a bit mind-numbing. Okay, uh, so it's not perfect, but it actually, that's probably going to have to be close enough. We're not going to be able to get the white stripe on unless we want to just have it kind of bypass the ramp here. Like I could have... Let's paint this. Okay. Like what I could do. What? Uh, what? Uh, what? No, it's the same. It's just the light hitting it. So what I could do is just have the the white stripe being like right here. Even if it's not perfect, it'll have to do. Yeah, because we we can't piecemeal paint uh, the ramps as much as I would like to. Or to use the four ramps, because if we use the four ramps, this would be all good. If we're using six ramps, this would be all good. But we're using eight ramps, and it's not okay. And who knows, maybe there is a, uh, a six ramp in one of the other mod packs that I don't know about. I don't know. Anyway, um, the only other thing we have left to do is to get this set up properly. So we want to have, let's try one by two, one by three. So I think one by three is no good. Yeah, it's gonna go too far. And it'd almost be nice if I could do something like, like that. Maybe I can. Not really. I mean, I can. It actually looks pretty nice if I were to do that. This doesn't work either. That's not gonna work. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. So, I used 1x4s for this. We'll just go to the 1x3s, I think. I'll do that for the time being. Because this way we, at the very least, can not have this, like, weird hanging point that's going to drive us crazy. Okay, so we want one by three ramps. Let's, let's stick with the same ramp set just in case anything breaks. It'll make it so I have to fix less. Like, if one of the mod packs gets abandoned quickly, that'll be problems. Though hopefully the developers actually, like... I know the developers are aware of the mods, uh, but, like, hopefully they see it and they're like, We kind of want to do this ourselves. Okay. So, it's danger, not warning, but I'll take it. 
actually didn't even realize that Claptrap had a warning thing. Oops. Yeah, Claptrap, Claptrap's, like, belly says warning. Which is interesting, because I guess they'd be warning you against how obnoxious he is? I don't... Mm. I don't know, anyway. Uh, we want to have this across be painted. And then we want to go back and paint these. And then we want to go dark red. There we go. Okay, so we've got danger instead of warning. The shapes aren't quite correct. The white doesn't work, and the, the venting is a little weird. I'll take it. It's going to bother me, though. So we're going to do the horrible thing. Cut that off. Grab this. Grab, uh, cut that off. Put that there. Put this here. Do that. Still got the welder, right? Yes. Okay, please just weld without complaints. Son of a bitch. Okay, um... Let's cut that off. I bet, I bet if I put a thing here... I don't want to have to rebuild any more than I have to. So we put that there. And I weld... Let's just hope. Sometimes the weld tool feels like working with me here. It doesn't. Okay. Let's cut off around it. Maybe if there's nothing but, we'll be okay. Okay, so if I do, if I cut this off, oops. Okay, we don't, we didn't want to do that. Oh, uh. Oh, okay, 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 that's, that's fine. Uh, we want to do this. i to fit this here-ish. There we go. Okay. Cut that off there. We want to bop it over. I don't need this engine block. There we go. Okay, and did I... I haven't put anything across here. And my other options are... I guess if I cut this off, maybe it'll work. Like if there's if there's less stuff for it to collide with, maybe we'll be okay. Dunno. Okay, can I Oh. I might be able to reach it from here, but it it doesn't really matter. This game really needs creative mode flight. Like, I love it, but like we're already in creative mode. Why the hell can't we just like turn on flight? and fly around. It'd make my life much easier in this game. Okay, so we're gonna do that there. Please weld. I don't wanna have to rebuild this entire segment. I mean, I can. Never understood welding in this game. I mean, we could weld it, th we could like try unwelding it. I guess I'll get rid of that. Fuck. Well, it'll be fine. These can be these can be rebuilt. We have the technology, so I'll just I'll just cut them off. Cause I want to re re weld this. If I have to, if I have to, I'll rebuild it. But I really I just don't want to. Let's bring it a little bit closer. Come to think of it. I just want, like, a light tap. I don't want, like, the... the standard dwarven heavy blow that messes everything up. Okay, whatever. This should work. And if it doesn't, we're gonna have to rethink a great many things. It worked! Okay. It's a little tilty, but that's fine. Let's hook him back up there. It's perfect. It's perfect! Okay, so now we can do that. Now we can have this going up. This going up. And we'll go back and 
get those pieces on. So the reason why I did this mainly is because it's supposed to re relief out and kind of push forward a little bit. And it just looked a little strange that it wasn't. Uh, also, these ramps need to be flipped around. Now that I'm looking at it properly. Okay, we'll do that in a second. Let's get the let's get the weird flat block system here. No. I was originally thinking I could do the um, I could do the weird ramp system to try and get a proper relief in here, but that's not that's not gonna work. And that's okay because we, we don't need it anyway. Let's see, it is that one. Okay, cool. So we wanna get around. Let's see. Put blocks there. Put blocks there. Put a block there. Modify you. You're gonna be five forward. Let's try more like seven act seven or eight. There we go. That's looking a little bit more right. Alright. So let's go back up. We've got these ramp blocks next. We need to fix them. Cause yeah, appar apparently it curves down, and I never realized that. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it too long, so let's just grab the the regular ramp block and rebuild it. People wanted, for the longest time, people have been asking me to do like recreations of various fan things, and I've always said no just because I knew it would be like horribly time consuming. Fun fact, it is. But I guess, I, I don't know, it's fun. It's just super time consuming. We can't even drive this thing yet. We don't even have the c capability of doing so. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So let's, let's see. So, I mean, we've got the basics here. We still need to get the arms in. Uh, looking at it now, we might actually wanna... How many of these do I have? One, two, three, okay. So we actually don't want this central set. We're gonna need we're gonna need that for fitting the tire suspension and the arms, because the arms actually are supposed to fold in. And to be fair, I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna be doing that, um, just because that sounds like an incredible amount of work. But I might do it just for the sake of. I mean, we've come this far already. Uh, that is, sunk cost fallacy is ridiculous, but I do need content because I'm going away for a week and Bird's not around, so what else am I going to do? I'll probably play with Batbeard tonight, but still. Uh, let's see. So we got these there. I guess let's get the uh, the 1x8s. Maybe? I don't know. It's a... It's a hard thing to judge. I, I guess let's get the 1x8s on. Actually, the next question is, what the hell does Claptrap's back look like? I have no idea. Okay, yeah, let, let, let's get the 1x8 ramp blocks on. Just so we, um... Just so we know. Okay, so it's gonna be... You know, I'll just build that there. I'll cut holes as necessary. That's the same length, right? Well, yes, and also messed up. They're upside down. That's looking... That's looking about right. Extend that there. Okay. Extend that up. At some point, I'm probably gonna have to sit down and, uh... I don't even know. I don't even know what I was gonna say there. I'm gonna have to sit down and actually fill these things in. Also, I'm gonna need like a ton of wiring and stuff. I, I guess I got a bunch of cosmetic blocks for this that'll that'll fit the bill. Okay. Well, at least we've got most of the framework on this side. I might also want to like hollow it out a little bit. Uh, luckily, these uh, one by eight blocks are are light. So like this thing, despite being a giant monstrosity, 
uh, isn't going to be too tippy. Well, it is going to be really tip tippy, but it's not going to be impossible to keep it uh, upright. Which is good. I'm going to have like a four, five part uh, series on this thing. Well, that's okay. Again, I, uh, I've mentioned this repeatedly in the past, to the point where most people probably know what's going on. But yeah, I'm, I'm moving, so uh, all of my content creation and all of my, my setup is like weird and screwy and unreliable. So I've had a lot of you guys showing up specifically asking, you know, when's the next scrap mechanic stream? And between me moving or prepping to move and just trying to train out content uh, for everything and Birdcatcher's computer being mega fuckled are... Uh, uh, I don't have a whole lot to work with. And I'll try and, like, space everything out-ish if I can. But no promises. Those might interfere with the wheel. We'll have to figure it out. Okay, uh, let's cut the hole in the side here. Okay, well, at least we got the baseline for, for a claptrap pretty well down. Um, I'm probably just gonna have... Hmm, I don't know. Because we're gonna want to have all the suspension glitches screwed into the wall here. Uh, but we're also going to want to have a a panel that we can like bop open, and it will um it'll have like a driver's seat, and I can hop in from there and stuff. Also need to figure out the engines. There's a stupid amount of stuff to to get done with this thing, but I'm feeling I'm feeling good about it. Like we've actually made some pretty good progress here. I st I need to get a good reference shot for yeah, missed it. I need to good, get some good reference shots for, you know, what does the top of a claptrap look like? Uh, what's the back of a claptrap look like and try and keep with that? And also figure out how the hell I'm going to get arms in. I mean, I guess I could have two pipes that, like, fold up and fit right flush. I don't know about hands. I'll think about them later. I'll, I'll figure out if I even want to have them transform, because honestly, the center of this thing is going to be crammed as it is. Um... And trying to actually, like, mush all this stuff together is going to be hard. It'll be interesting, actually. Uh, hmm. Nah, I don't think that would work. Uh, it'd be actually be... It would be really nice if I could actually have a, um... Uh, a portable... Or, like, a, a replicatable suspension glitch... Um... Not lineup, but like a, a suspension glitch thing that I can weld to any anything and hook up really fast. But I guess it's really easy to build a suspension glitch as it as it stands. So it's not that big of big of a deal. Actually, if I put a lift here, we're gonna have to figure out how to get the sensors in here. Um, which might mean like sneakily placing them around the the tire itself. But I could be wrong. But yeah, uh, it's. Fill this out for a second. Let's take a look. So I can have a block there. I think I need another block at top. But yeah, what I could easily do uh, for suspension glitching is... Actually, this is a lot easier than I'm thinking it is, probably. Is this? Yeah, this is symmetrical. One too much. Okay. Yeah, what I could do is have four of these and enclose it. So let's get rid of this bearing. I'll just enclose that. Yeah, so we're, we're just going to have a little suspension glitch uh, thing in here. And I'll get that all set up. I wonder if it's better to have it based on the top or the bottom or like positioning wise. But it doesn't matter too much. Uh, let's see. Where, oh, where art thou, Mr. Pipe? Okay, there we go. Really do enjoy the suspension glitch. Keith and his whole, the suspension glitch thing is stupid. Yeah, the suspension has been uh, recolored due to one of these mods. Well, I'm okay with that. Okay. So let's let's throw on caution blocks just because I feel like they I don't know it it looks nicer in my head for suspension glitches okay so they're gonna need 
They're gonna need controllers. But we're also gonna want more suspension glitches in here. Well, there's the ultralight block again. I'm not gonna need the welding tool for this. So we'll make a central column looking thing. Okay, let's let's get the controllers in. And I can't have them vertical. Damn. I was kinda hoping I was kinda hoping I could cram them in vertically or something. But no dice. Well that's okay. Can I do that? It's only gonna be three on the inside, so that's it almost works. So if we do that, okay, there we go. So we're gonna have these connected. These connected. These connected. And then these connected. Okay, cool. And then we left enough room that I could make three more for steering. Should work. Is dwarfy. Okay. I guess it'll, it'll probably be easier if I have these going the opposite direction anyway. Uh, so let's just have them starting here. It'll be a little bit unbalanced, but that's okay. I'm not trying to make this like a, a perfectly balanced machine. Not like some of my other builds. I guess actually I could. No. No matter what, I'm not going to have enough room for more of these. Okay, that's fine. So, let's fit one more controller in here. Even though it's not going to make a whole lot of sense, I'm just going to use that to keep them locked in place. While I build the rest of the enclosure. Okay, so now they're, they're free to move, but they're not going to. Uh, we've got these pillar things for free collision okay there we go hopefully I didn't connect any of those oh I did or I didn't and it's just messing with me I have no idea let's try painting that okay there we go now that's working well at least it's easy to test. Okay, let's let's paint them black, actually. That way they stand out a little bit more. Glad I caught that before I messed up somehow. Okay, let's paint that. Yeah, that looks actually quite nice. And we need one more in here. So that should be the suspension glitch um, combo. Actually, I'm not a big fan of these right here. They look a little weird. So originally I did have a controller here. Let's actually do that. Let's have the controllers be associated with their sides. It's going to make it a lot easier to find them. So let's actually undo all of these. Yeah, th I'm a pretty symmetrical E dude. I don't actually know if my face is symmetrical, but like, you know... I care a lot about s symmetry. This is one sweet piece of machinery. Okay. So we'll put that there, put that there. It's all pretty much ringed in. If I had been thinking, I would have done like just regular blocks there. But this looks nice. Okay, cool. So, we've got that set up. So this thing should specifically be able to move and turn and whatever. And if we need more suspension glitches, I can always stick them on top and, like, keep building up. We've got this top set up. Everything's looking good there. Um, oh, that's white. Okay, for a second I thought that was, like, a hole. We didn't want to deal with that. So that does actually give us some space. I could fit a seat in here. Like, really low down here. And we'd be crammed in, and then I could try and fold the arms in on top. Not sure if we want to do that yet, though. We also got to figure out how to get the... The everything else. 
I mean, we're gonna need engines. Luckily, those... We only need one. And it can be anywhere. And we need to figure out where to get the sensors. I'm probably gonna combine the sensors somewhere with the, uh, the tire. Or, like, the bottom of this. Like, uh, cut some of these out and throw sensors in. Maybe. Or... I guess I, I could have two sensors, like, here. Or, like, a sensor here rotated outwards or something. Um... Or pointed forwards, or maybe... It, no. I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, that's that's going to be the hardest part. How to get the sensors in without making it look like pure ass. Uh, but I guess we'll find that out later. Uh, this is a lot of work. At, I mean, at least we're... I mean, we can see the finish line now. And we're no longer fiddling around with what ramp block is the best block to use for this. That, that part was definitely on the... Uh, driving me insane side of things. It's also not lagging too bad, though I get the feeling summoning this in another world is going to be a problem. I don't know. I, I'm, I, I would love to actually do a race of, like, pseudo-novelty vehicles. It'd be really fun. Uh, you know, Halo Warthog, Claptrap, and some other couple of horrible things. I don't know. It'd be really funny. <laughs>